that's a little bit too late. It's oversaturated market right now to occur. And then the shy guy at the end be like, hey, well, no one really would be interested in listening to you. And then an awesome guy at the end was like, hey, you realize how much cool stuff you do on a daily basis and you live in an amazing city. And why not just start a vlog? I'm obviously a blonde guy. I'm not born and raised in America, as you can tell by my little accent. So bear with me, you'll have to go through all the grammatical errors, you have to go through my accent and problems understanding me, but hey, whatever it takes. I just recently got back from Burning Man and what I thought would be an experience that would lead me to understand what I want to do, where I am at, and what I want to do with my life it turned out to be even more confusing event that what it takes. There are my little chimes with a burner. In less than a week since I got back to New York, I went to a dealership, bought a car, because I felt like I wanted it. I was not really sure if I want to work in an industry that I got my degree at, uh, if I want to move in New York, if I want to move to San Francisco, if I want to continue the lifestyle that I had, do I want to change things? I'm a clear example of ADHD. I wanted very many things all at once that do not really correlate to each other. So this vlog is going to be a self-discovery that you guys are going to be discovering this character sitting right in front of you alongside with me. And we're going to explore the different parts, the different facets of my personal persona that I didn't know, that you didn't know. If you guys can spark a discussion, that would be the best that I can ever ask you for. Your opinions on what I say and what I do. Um, throw in your ideas what you want to see, what you want me to talk about. Maybe you read about the sandwich shop in New York that you always wanted to see how is it inside and I can go there and explore it for myself. Or a cool exhibition or a museum or some spot that you read about. I would be glad to do so. Today is October 1st and it really got very, very, very cold in New York. My day started early. I was a little bit hangover after a concert last night. I headed down to, I had a modeling gig. So I headed down to Soho and I spent a couple hours and I met this guy who was carrying his GoPro all around and he was just shooting for his family everything that he does and I'm like, hey, if I can bring that consistency to my life, that would be great. And I said, why not? The modeling gig was very good and it was very fun. Um, I got a new haircut, if you can see. Thanks guys, guys to TG for doing that for me. After that, I still recouping from last night's concert. Yesterday I went to the Bowery Ballroom to see Bob Moses. It was their first performance as a tour. They're going on a bus tour. I saw them before at Output, a nightclub Output, and, and at the party at the PS1. But this was their first concert concert, which was amazing. And I truly love this city. Sometimes you get tired of it, but it's an amazing city that you need to explore and you get to know only after a month or two of living here. And I feel it's just the right place to do so. That amazing view. There is this great article with a hundred best songs written about New York City. I'm going to share the link in the description or you can click up here. And it's an amazing list of hundred songs written about New York City. I do not agree with the number one song. I feel like number four song, which is LCD Sound System, New York I Love You But You Bring Me Down, should be the best song, at least about the modern New York, about New York that it is in this decade. But yeah, go check it out and tell me what you think. Well, as I'm walking, it has started to rain. People, if you decide to come to New York by a car, don't. But if you still decide, please watch out for the sign. No parking anytime from this point until whenever they think it is. Then there are one or two days a week when it's like an hour or two is street cleaning. So you cannot 
them on those sides of the street in that time frame. And I'm still walking. Oh, here is my car. Uh, no, I wish. That's not my car. Behind me, that's how far I had to park. And this is my car. This is my yuppie car. Yay! Thursday, October 1st, 5 p.m. Friday, October 23rd. MTA construction zone. So this is probably like a mile long street where I was able to park at night. But now for 23 days, I won't be able to park. When I said sometimes I get tired of New York, those parking things and the way that system works in general. It's 8.38 p.m. and this is my girlfriend Violet and we got invited to dinner which I'm driving to so when are you gonna complain next time how bad traffic is in your city and since I left the house it's been let me see one hour and 15 minutes and we're still 42 minutes to go that is to drive from Brooklyn to uptown Manhattan and then back to Brooklyn two hours <laughs> fucking great <laughs> Please subscribe and I'll see you next week.